Hi and welcome to Axis Design. In this tutorial we'll demonstrate an easy to use command line tool that can be used to install Anima. If you work in a large company that has several render nodes, installing Anima machine by machine isn't really an option. Ideally this task should be automatic so we've developed a command line deployment tool that allows you to install Anima, the plugins for Cinema 4D and 3DS Max and makes licensing a whole lot easier. To get the tool you'll need to request the installer from our support team. They'll send you all the necessary files including a program named commandlinedeploy.exe. If you run this it will generate a log file that explains the parameters that are available and summarises what they do. The first entry shows the path that was used to run the deploy tool. This isn't used directly in the installation process but it can be useful for bug checking. Below this is where you'll find the important part. To deploy an installation you need to define a location to install Anima. You can do this using the path parameter. If you're installing plugins you'll need to specify their locations too. For example you can specify the installation path for each version of 3ds Max using this parameter. The same format is used for all supported versions. For each installation present on your machine you just need to change the year shown at the end of the parameter. Exactly the same principle applies if you want to install plugins for Cinema 4D. As you can see from this note, the path parameter is mandatory, but the plugin parameters are optional. This is because the plugins need Anima installed to run correctly, so it isn't possible to install them without the base application. However, Anima itself can be installed and run without the 3DS Max and Cinema 4D plugins. So that's the basics. And here's a real world example for a render node that has programs saved on the C drive including 3DS Max 2013, 2017 and Cinema 4DR15 in a folder called Apps. And that's it. Using the command line tool it's simple to deploy Anima on render nodes and of course this can easily be run from a .bat file or similar. Next we'll look at licensing. To license the software there are three different steps. First you must create a hardware ID. You then use this to generate the license and finally you read the license to authorise the software. Let's take a look at the files needed for this process. As you can see we already have some files here with the extension HID which stands for Hardware ID. Also in this folder is a file with the ACC extension which means activation code. This is a license. There are two different HID files here and that's because they're from two different computers. So how do you generate these for your own computer? Thankfully it's very easy. Just run the command line deploy.exe app using the hyphen generate license parameter and you'll see the new HID file. The word after the at symbol is the windows name of my computer. There are now three different hardware IDs so let's look at how to process them. To do this open the anima render node license manager tool. This will automatically detect those three HID files and you can see that two of them are highlighted in red to indicate that they're not yet licensed. The request shown in black is already licensed and this status is also displayed in brackets after the name of the HID file. To license the remaining two machines you paste your order purchase code in the top box followed by the email linked to your Axis account then click read licenses. You can see that it says that I have 10 licenses assigned to my account but that I've already used three of them. I can't use any of those highlighted in red because they're already in use on other machines. That's no problem, there are still seven more available so just click use licenses and wait a little while it reads the license data. You'll see that as the licenses are generated the HIDs turn black and the available licenses on the left turn red to indicate that they're now in use. With this process complete you'll have matching pairs of HID and ACC files, one set for each computer. The final step is to install these by running the command line deploy tool with the parameter hyphen read license and that's it. We now have a valid license installed on this computer. We hope these tools will save you time and make installing on multiple machines much easier. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact our support team.